meteorologist Nathan Schutt. Now with your severe weather team nine forecast. Good evening, everyone. Current conditions around the Ohio Valley. We're tracking a wet and cloudy site for this evening. Rain showers moving back into the area, but thankfully these are more of a nuisance showers than anything impactful as we do extend into the overnight hours. Current temperatures today did vary quite a bit across the area. This is due to a frontal boundary sitting over our region. So you'll notice that in the wake of that frontal boundary, temperatures in the 50s, out ahead of it still in the 70s in locations south of I-70. This front boundary then drops out the areas we extend into tomorrow and we'll see a lot of those rain showers go with it. Now when we look at looking at clouds and radar right now we're seeing what is that warning guys hold on a second we got to check that let's look at that warning right now because I'm worried that you will see exactly what this warning is let's pop this up right now and we're going to see exactly what this is that literally just popped up on air and from what I can see I believe this is a tornado warning guys and this literally just popped up on air so hold on a second we're going to go to a different graphic here and we're going to be taking a closer look at this let's take a closer look at what just popped up there and it looks like yes I am correct that is a tornado warning this literally just popped up on air as we went to the forecast so this warning is in effect. You'll see this is looking south there of Warnock. This is moving towards Shadyside and Moundsville. You'll see right now that it's on right, uh, right on their state route that's 147. And again, that's moving towards Shadyside and then moving towards Moundsville as well. So if you are in the path of this tornado warning, again, now is the time to seek shelter. Again, you wanna be seeking shelter immediately if you are in the path of this tornado warning. And again, that does affect their shady side, Moundsville. You can see right there along State Route 147 is where that cell is located right now. And this storm is moving towards the east. So McMechan, Moundsville, shady side, and it's just south there of Bel Air. So Bel Air, shady side, McMechan, Moundsville, all those locations I'm just noting should be seeking shelter immediately. This is just the storm system just south there of Stewartsville. So the storm just south, south of Stewartsville and it's progressing towards the east along State Route 147. Now we're going to go to our velocity product here and let's start if we can see you pick any rotation with this storm. And we're seeing that says, looks like the rotation right there. So this is what we're calling our velocity couplet. So we're seeing the rotation with this cell. And even if we go back a little bit, there's the rotation that prompted this warning. So we're seeing that rotation more south of State Route 147. So the area of immediate impact is going to be there towards Moundsville. So you see this rotation is looking, going into Moundsville. So if you are tuning into Moundsville, you need to be seeking shelter immediately as that rotation is now nearing the Ohio River. And again, it's progressing towards the east east southeast there and it looks like that core of rotation should be staying there south of shady side so the area of main impact is going to be into moundsville and we're looking at what we call the velocity couple here the rotation so again when we're looking at this product the green is the the winds blowing towards the radar site the red is away so if, again if we were to draw this this is exactly what it would look like so we got the green going towards radar site and red away and it, it, if you deal you draw this then in continuous circle there's the rotation right green going Going towards the radar site red right away and this is what we saw radar indicated rotation and so we are dealing with that again a tornado warning that's in effect and areas of Im imminent impact there is going to be into Moundsville so if you're tuning in especially into Moundsville you need to be seeking shelter immediately as we're seeing that rotation now again crossing into the Ohio River and it's going from Ohio into West Virginia there and again that rotation mainly south of Shady Side is going to be impacting Moundsville so you need to be seeking shelter immediately now in in the event of a tornado, where should we be seeking shelter? Uh, again, in the event of a tornado, you want to be getting to that lowest floor, the lowest structure of a sturdy building. So in the event of a tornado, you want to be getting out of the top floor, you want to get to the lowest floor. Now, of course, the best is going to be the basement, but even if you do not have even if you do not have that basement on a two-story home, that first floor is going to be best. So obviously, you need to get indoors, avoid the windows, get to the lowest floor. An interior room is best. So if you have any more of an interior room in that lowest floor, that's going to be the best place to seek shelter in this tornado warning, uh, which again, is going to be... It's a, it, it, immediately impacting the Moundsville area. So if you're tuning in around Moundsville, now is the time to get to your safe place with a tornado warning in effect. Again, radar indicator rotation has prompted this tornado warning that does remain in effect. Again, right now we're seeing it cross the Ohio River and it is extending there into 
into areas around Moundsville with a radar indicated rotation. That's where we're seeing uh, that tornado warning in effect. So we're going back to our radar here. We're going to look at where uh, the storm does lie right now. And again, that tornado warning remains in effect. Let's go back up to our tornado warning right there. It remains in effect until 545. So that tornado warning again remains in effect until 545. And look at the latest uh, velocity here. We're still seeing some rotation with this system. Radar indicated rotation right there. You can see we're getting that the core of rotation that is centered there uh, south of Valonia and south there of Shadyside is going to be moving into the Moundsville area. That's where we're seeing that core rotation. So again, take those tornado safety tips and if you're tuning in to Moundsville, that's where you need to be seeking shelter immediately. That's where we're seeing this rotation extend and if we were to play this back, there's that rotation that prompted the tornado warning and we're still seeing some rotation with this cell as it continues to progress towards the east southeast there and again it's moving there uh, towards the Ohio River and eventually going to be moving there into Moundsville that's where we're tracking this south of Shadyside moving into the Moundsville area that's where we're seeing this rotation currently at so right now we're seeing that core of rotation there near Lockwood Hill Road Kirkland Hill Road again this is moving towards Route 7 right now impacting currently Route 7 eventually going to be moving then to continue towards the east southeast impacting Moundsville so again if you're tuning in around Moundsville even there near Glendale, Moundsville location. This is where your time to seek shelter, get to that lowest floor, away from windows, seek that interior room. Now is the time to seek shelter as radar indicated rotation with this storm. It did, it did prompt a tornado warning that does remain in effect for these locations. And again, this is our main area of concern uh, where we're seeing that rotation is including a near Moundsville, Glendale area. And again, we're seeing that rotation now over Route 7 with the latest radar scan. We're still seeing some rotation with this storm as it continues to then move near the Ohio River and eventually then further towards the southeast looking closer towards Moundsville. Uh, we're going to be looking at a product now called correlation coefficient. We want to be looking at this just to make sure that we're not seeing any debris signature with our rotation and thankfully not. Now with the tornado that we did see move through the area early Wednesday morning we actually had a debris signature. So in this instant what we're looking for which should be in this area right here we would want a bright blue. We would want blue. That would indicate if there's blue here on the map, that would indicate a debris signature. So we're not seeing that. That's good news. That's good news. If we were to see that, then it would be radar confirmed tornado. Thankfully, we are not seeing that. That is a good sign. But again, we're still getting that, or we're still getting radar indicated rotation. So while the radar is not indicating or confirming anything right now, again, we still got to be treating this as a tornado could touch down. So we need to be treating this very seriously. And again, areas that are at imminent impact there is looking towards Moundsville as this, we're seeing this rotation continue to move there uh, towards the east there in impacting areas around Moundsville and that includes there from Glendale south to Moundsville, this is where we're seeing that rotation. You can see right there moving on along Route 7 right now, eventually then moving across the Ohio River, and we're going to be seeing this then eventually moving into the Moundsville area, and then continuing further towards the east-southeast there, Limestone, Knoxville, you are further downstream of this, so you need to be taking this very seriously as well, uh, as again there towards Limestone, Knoxville, that's where this rotation is heading. So you can see there the rotation getting ready into areas near Glendale, Moundsville, this is where you should be seeking shelter immediately in this area from Glendale, Moundsville. If you're tuning in from around those locations, you need to be finding that safe place. Seek that shelter immediately, which again, in their safe place, tornado safety tips, you obviously want to get indoors. You don't want to be caught outside with this storm. And you want to be avoiding windows. You want to get to the lowest floor. Interior room is going to be best in this situation. So you want to get to that lowest floor, even in a two-story home. If you can get to that first floor, that's going to be a lot better than that second floor of a two-story home. And of course, basement's going to be the best. Now, even in those lowest floors, you want to try to avoid windows, right? That could be a weak point where debris can get in. Uh, and of course, that debris is what can be uh, dangerous. We want to be avoiding that. You want to get to the most interior room. Obviously, the idea there is you've got the most walls between you and the outdoors. So you've got the most protection between potential debris getting blown into your home uh, with the in that interior room, having not only the exterior walls, but an interior wall as well to help protect uh, from any debris that comes into your home in the event of a tornado. So again, that's some of the safety tips that if you're tuning in, you want to be getting indoors, avoid those windows, get to the lowest floor. Again, first floor, if you don't have a basement, is better than that second floor and get to an interior room. That's going to be the best in this situation uh, is getting to that interior room. Again, going back to radar, 
We'll be looking at this tornado warning that does remain in effect. Again, we're seeing this storm now uh, crossing over the high river. So we're seeing this rotation. You can almost see a bit of a hook there. We're starting to see it develop. And let's look at our radius of velocity here. And we're seeing, uh, so again, the rotation there between Shadyside, Moundsville. So areas there to Glendale, Moundsville location especially, you need to be seeking that shelter. We're seeing that rotation now centered a little bit further north towards Glendale, actually, between Moundsville and Glendale. So again, this location especially, this is where we're seeing that uh, this, the strongest rotation with this storm, uh, and this is where the potential for a tornado lies with this storm. So again, you need to be seeking shelter immediately if you are in the path of this storm under this tornado warning that does remain in effect until 545, as we're still seeing some rotation with this storm, and that tornado warning does remain in effect. Now we're going to be looking at what a product called correlation coefficient. Again, we're going to be checking this periodically to make sure that we're not picking any type of debris signature up that would indicate that a tornado is on the ground. Uh, again, thankfully, we're still not seeing that. Now, what we're looking for in this event is a blue ball, right? We're looking for blue where we're seeing that rotation, which we're seeing red. So it's a good sign there. Uh, but again, we're still seeing when we look at velocity, we're still seeing this rotation, which again, velocity is just that fancy word for wind speed and direction. And we're really looking at the direction here. And again, green is the winds blowing towards the radar site and red is going to be winds blowing away from the radar site uh, and this is where we're seeing currently that rotation uh, and if we could pop up, pop up the Moundsville tower cam let's see if we're seeing anything on the Moundsville tower cam as the storm is entering uh, near the Glendale Moundsville area and including there just south of Shadyside so between Shadyside Moundsville uh, we're not seeing any can't pick anything out there uh, quite yet, looks like some scud clouds there extending from the cloud deck, but not seeing anything that looks to be rotating. Again, there's some lower clouds there, but those look like more like scud clouds, which can be easily mistaken uh, for a tornado. But it looks like we're seeing some clouds descending from that cloud deck. Uh, looks to be, again, not picking anything right now, trying to keep a close eye on this. And not quite seeing anything rotating, but we're certainly still seeing uh, some of those scud clouds extending from that cloud deck, looking a bit ominous, but again, not seeing quite anything that looks to be rotating at this time. But this tornado warning does remain in effect. So again, we're keeping a close eye on this storm as it continues to impact uh, portions there, Moundsville, the McMechan, uh, excuse me, Moundsville looking into Glendale, as well as there's just south of Shadyside. So those locations more imminent, and again, where we're seeing some of that rotation. So I'll go ahead and erase those arrows where we were tracking some of that rotation right now. And again, we're seeing this. Uh, looks like this latest scan is good news. You can see that, see that uh, green, that bright green? Notice that begin to, to dissipate. So this is a good sign. This is a weaker scan coming in with the latest radar scan. This is showing that a weaker rotation. So good news there. Good news there. And even if we were to trace this back further, you could see that brighter blue, green, it's indicating some stronger rotation. Then notice what's beginning to happen. So this is a good, good latest radar scan coming in there as the storm is moving into the Moundsville and uh, Glendale area again. That's a good. That's a good sign there that we're seeing less rotation with this this, this storm as it is moving into uh, West Virginia from Ohio into West Virginia there into Marshall County. So good news that that latest radar scan showing less rotation there with this storm. So uh, this storm right now moving across the Ohio River from Route Seven to Route Two there. Again, around the Moundsville, Glendale area, uh, just south there of Shadyside is where we've been seeing this rotation. And these latest radar scans, this is good. This is good to see. We're going to keep a close eye on this, though, right? Uh, we can't let one scan dictate uh, the call here. Uh, we're given another couple radar scans coming in just to make sure the rotation does not tighten once again. Uh, but this latest scan is good news that this rotation looks to be weakening as the storm is now moving into the Moundsville in Glendale area. But again, this doesn't mean you should stop seeking shelter. Tornado warning does remain in effect till 545. So we still need to treat this very seriously and we should be seeking shelter if you are in this tornado warning which extends south of Bel Air down towards Moundsville. And you can see areas that further downstream, Limestone, Knoxville, uh, into northern Marshall County, really. It's highlighting a lot of northern Marshall County. Uh, if you live in northern Marshall County, you need to still be seeking shelter, which again, if you're tuning in and wondering where to go with this tornado warning in effect, here's some safety tips. Obviously, you want to be getting indoors. You want to avoid those windows. You want to get to the lowest floor. Now, even in a two-story home, if you can get to that first floor, that's going to be better than this 
second floor. Obviously, basement's going to be the best. And that interior room is key as well. Even on that first floor, even if you live in a one-story home, if you have an interior room, uh, that can be very safe. That could be a very good place to go in the event of a tornado. That interior room is going to be the best option uh, if you do have that, even in a one-story home, right? If you don't have a basement and it's just a one-story home of a sturdy structure, that interior room it'd be a very safe place in the event of a tornado uh, touching down. So that's going to be the best place to go and avoid the windows. Obviously, window can be a weak point. Debris can get in. That debris can be dangerous. Uh, so you want to be avoiding to seeking shelter near windows. You want to get to that lowest floor. And again, the interior room is going to be absolutely best because obviously you not only have the exterior walls, but you have interior walls uh, to help keep you safe from that debris uh, as well. Uh, it still looks like we have this tornado warning in effect, not seeing anything from the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh that would indicate that we're going to end up uh, uh, canceling this. So they're keeping this tornado warning in effect. Again, this includes a lot of northern Marshall County. We're seeing that storm now crossing from Ohio into West Virginia. So we're seeing that storm right now centered along Route 7, Route 2 corridor. So it's moving across the Ohio River at this minute. And we're seeing this continue then to track uh, into areas near Moundsville, Glendale, again, Shady Side. Those locations, especially closer to that rotation, this continues then to move through northern Marshall County. And this remains in effect, as you see there, 545. So until this is either canceled or expired, we have to treat this very seriously. And again, we need to be seeking shelter if you are under this tornado warning that does remain in effect until 545. And you can see there that it looks like they started to trim a little bit of this uh, tornado warning. You can see this includes areas there your shady side, Moundsville, and then locations Viola, Limestone, Wolf Run, Knoxville. These locations I'm naming, you need to be seeking shelter Im immediately, again, through that uh, northern portion there of Marshall County with this tornado warning still remaining in effect. Let's look at our latest uh, velocity scan. Uh, we're looking for rotation with this storm and it looks like still some of these latest scans coming in, this is good. You can see that rotation here Notice the more uh, bright green, more of the blue, and we're seeing a little higher winds there and a little tighter rotation uh, it, when it was this storm was located still into Ohio, and now that it's crossing the, along the Ohio River and making its way into Marshall County in West Virginia, you'll notice that the, the bright green's gone, right? And the overall rotation it looks to be weakening as well. Uh, we're still keeping a close eye on this, right? And we're watching this latest scan come in, make sure the rotation does not tighten again, but uh, as so now it's a good sign to see that rotation weakening and we're going to be taking a close look here at what we call the correlation coefficient we're just looking at this for any debris signature and the event that a debris debris signature would appear we'd be looking for blue and we'd be seeing a bright blue a literal ball right debris signature uh, it would be bright blue we'll obviously you see a red there so good to see there we're not seeing a radar pick up any debris signature that would indicate a radar confirmed tornado on the ground so good news we're not seeing that on radar and again looking at wind speed and direction we're we're still looking at this uh, rotation weakening quite a bit, but we're still keeping a close eye on this. Uh, the rotation there it would be over the Moundsville area. We'll see that rotation moved in between Moundsville Glendale location as this storm continues to move towards the east there. And again, areas right now currently in, in, in being impacted in the Moundsville Glendale area, uh, and then looking closer towards Shady Side, and then now we're looking further downstream. So Knoxville, Limestone, Callis, these locations there. That's north of, of uh, 250 there into uh, Marshall County and then extending up towards Wolf Run, Limestone. Again, these locations I'm naming, uh, Viola, Alley Grove, these locations all under that tornado warning. So if you're tuning in from those locations I just named, uh, you need to still be seeking shelter as the storm is making its way towards your area. So now is your time to take action and seek that safe place with this tornado warning remaining in effect until 5.45 p.m. Uh, in and it looks like the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh uh, just noted they're keeping an eye on it. They also noted it looks like it's uh, losing steam on the latest scan. So what we were just talking about, the National Weather Service office in Pittsburgh seeing it as well, that seeing that rotation begin to weaken. So it's a good sign. We're going to keep an eye on a couple more of these radar scans just to make sure, again, this rotation does not tighten, right? The, the, the risk is still there. So we still have this tornado warning in effect. As long as the warning is in effect, right, we need to keep vigilant uh, with this warning in effect until at least. 5:45 uh, p.m. It looks like they noted haven't heard any reports from the Belmont warning. 
Uh, looks like they have not gotten any reports coming in of any type of funnel cloud siding or any evidence of a tornado. They have not had any reports coming in. Uh, then that's, again, the National Weather Service Office in Pittsburgh. So good news there. But again, we still got to keep vigilant with this tornado warning in effect until 5.45 p.m. And again, this is currently impacting areas around Moundsville, the Glendale area. This is going to be moving then towards the east. You can see it impacting Limestone, Wolf Run, Knoxville, Viola, Alley Grove, all those locations that I just mentioned. This is where you need to be seeking shelter as the tornado is moving towards the, uh, the excuse me, the, the storm of the potential to produce a tornado, right? We do not have anything confirmed, uh, is continuing to push towards the east into northern Marshall County. So tornado warning remains in effect until at least 5.45 p.m. At that point, it's either going to be expired or they will issue a new warning as this continues to move across Marshall County and then eventually into Western PA. So we're keeping a close eye on it and still not seeing any real tight rotation with these latest scans. So it's still looking good. It's still looking good that we're not seeing uh, any tightening with this rotation with the latest radar scans. But again, this, with this warning remaining in effect, you still need to be seeking that safe spot. Uh, they're looking towards uh, Lone Oak, Viola. They're along Route 250, uh, looking at just uh, Route 250 extending there from that Birch's Run Wildlife Management Area, looking south through Limestone, Wolf Run, uh, down towards Knoxville. And then just north there, where 250 runs into 891. Uh, that's where we're looking, where this training warning is in effect there. Wolf Run heading towards Crows Mills, Alley Grove, Viola. These locations, this is where the, uh, the storm is heading that is currently has a tornado warning attached to it. And again, we're still seeing that rotation there closer towards Moundsville, Glendo area. That's going to be moving east towards Limestone. So still looking at the latest scan just coming in there. Still, again, not seeing this rotation tightening. Still looking good there. We're not seeing any debris signature showing up on radar. Again, that would be indicated with a blue. We're not seeing blue. We're seeing a lot of sea of red. So good to see there. Uh, we're not seeing that blue. So the red indicating that we have very uniform precipitation. So this is going to be the rain. If we had very uh, a big variance in the size of what radar is picking up, that would indicate debris. And that would give a blue signal here on radar. And thankfully, we're not seeing that. This is what we did see with those tornadoes that we did have in northern Jefferson and northern Hancock County. There was an actual debris signature. This is the product that we were using. And that, that's why it was a radar-confirmed tornado. But again, thankfully, we're not seeing that here with these latest radar scans and again we're still keeping an eye on what we call our velocity product here again the fancy word for wind speed and direction anytime you see that uh, radar indicated rotation this is the product that's going to be used and we've been seeing that rotation there around Moundsville in the Glendale area, now this rotation is centered just east of those locations, and we're going to be seeing this rotation then moving towards Limestone, following along that Route 250 corridor there, moving towards Limestone, Viola, Wolf Run. Uh, this is where the rotation is going to be heading through northern Marshall County. So again, if you are in the path of this storm, you just need to be seeking shelter while this tornado warning does remain in effect for at least another five minutes. They could very well drop another warning uh, with the latest radar scans, unless the rotation's tightening. Uh, probably not, but we have to keep vigilant here at least in the next five minutes until this tornado warning is either canceled or expires there at 545. So that tornado warning, again, in the event of this warning, if you're tuning in in northern Marshall County, here's what to do. Obviously, you want to be getting indoors. You want to be caught outside in this tornado warning with this storm. You want to be avoiding windows. Those windows can be a weak point in your structure, and that's where debris can get in, and that debris can be dangerous. And that's why the interior room is best as well, because obviously not only do you have the exterior walls, you've got a set of interior walls as well. You've got two walls there to help protect you from any debris that happens to get into your home. And you want to get to the lowest floor. So even if you're on a one-story home, right, you don't have a top story or a basement, if, that, if you have an interior room, that's going to be the best place to be. And of course, if you live in a two-story home and you don't have a basement, get to that first floor. And obviously, if you've got a basement, get to the basement. And again, seek that interior room. Try to avoid those windows as best you can as you seek shelter and find your safe place with this tornado warning that does remain in effect. Again, haven't seen any more updates here. Likely going to continue this here for another four minutes with this tornado warning that remains in effect for the areas into northern Marshall County. Go back to radar. We're going to take a look at some of the latest, the latest scans we're seeing coming in. And we're seeing that storm again centered there just east of Moundsville. 
This is moving into limestone now, so it's between Moundsville limestone and moving towards Callis there, uh, looking north of Knoxville. That's where we're seeing the storm. Again, that tornado warning you can see remaining in effect until 545. Again, that storm is now east of the Moundsville Glendale area, and this is moving into limestone and Callis as it continues to track towards the east through northern Marshall County. We look at our velocity product here. Again, the latest scans, we're looking at this. This is our radar indicated rotation, and we're still seeing some pretty weak rotation here on the latest scan, the good news, right? We're keeping a close eye on this just to make sure this rota the rotation does not tighten up a bit as the storm continues to move east across northern Marshall County. And we're still getting these uh, weaker ro this weaker rotation with these latest scans and uh, it's a good bet that they might not uh, extend this further towards the east. They might continue it up here till 545, and unless we've got this rotation tightening with some of these latest scans coming in, they might not uh, continue it. But that being said, right, we still got to treat this very seriously, and we should be seeking shelter if you're tuning in there with that storm. That rotation now entering into limestone. Again, it's going to be moving towards the east there, towards Callis. Uh, rotation there centered just north of, of Knoxville. But those locations that you see on your screen, if you're tuning in, if you live near any of those locations, you need to be seeking shelter at this minute, right? You need to sign, find that safe place with this tornado warning in effect. Get to that lowest floor, avoid those windows, get to an interior room if you have one. That's going to be the best bet. That's going to be the safest place uh, in the event of a tornado. That's the safest place to be. That interior room uh, is going to be the, sa the, the safest place as this is now continuing towards the east, uh, looking there towards uh, Limestone, Callis, Knoxville. And you can see that rotation. If we bring this back a little bit, they're seeing that rotation. And we're, what we're seeing, this rotation that we've been tracking, uh, extending across the Ohio River through Moundsville, Glendale area, this is the uh, rotation that we've been tracking is located right here. And it's still some pretty broad rotation, but this is the area where we've been tracking that rotation moving across the Ohio River from uh, Belmont County to Marshall County. We're seeing this rotation there uh, near Limestone right now. Again, this is centered just north there of Knoxville, heading towards Wolf Run, likely just south there of Viola. As this continues there towards that Route 250 uh, corridor, following closely to Route 250, and you can see even Route 50, 250 going south there, it's going to be impacting that two, Route 250 corridor in northern Marshall County there near Limestone. This continues to move towards the east. Again, likely just north there of Knoxville, heading towards the Wolf Run area, Limestone area, uh, south there of Viola. That's where this rotation is heading. And we're still seeing, again, thankfully, some pretty broad uh, uh, with these latest scans, a pretty broad rotation, but this remains in effect. We've got one more minute here with this tornado warning remaining in effect for the areas there into mainly northern Marshall County is where we're looking. Again, the storm's now east of Moundsville, Glendale area, the east of, there's technically southeast of Shadyside, and there it went. 545, tornado warning has expired.